Hello everyone, as you can see we are today at DSK Benelli Hyderabad for test riding two really special bikes which have been really elusive all this time as there were no RTO permissions and all I believe that is the TNT 1000 and uh, I don't know it's 12199 and that is the 899 the more favorite of my more favorite model as it is more affordable so these come the most distinctive feature about these bikes is the sideways mounted radiator and so the specifications this thing weighs around 230 kilos even that's around the same the 899 so let's head out 135 bhp on this around 120 on that pretty heavy bikes and then this thing is costs around 14 15 that's around 11.5 lot of questions in everyone's mind that are these worth it so let's go ahead find out for ourselves after you Oh, it has a hydraulic clutch and to me the bikes look absolutely fucking lootly amazing and it's a very old design as I'm told the clutch is very light and let me tell you very 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 explosive it you know if you're even a little bit uh, reckless while dumping the clutch the front wheel might just pop up skidding is impossible as this thing comes with very good soft compound tires uh, Michelin Ooh. It feels lightweight but the front end is a bit heavy It's a bit of a downer They handle really well Okay, so this thing doesn't come with any electronics, mind you, any electronics, no ABS, no ESP, no traction control, no bullshit, and that's how I like my power, the gearbox is a bit slouchy again, the clutch is deadly, you have to be very careful when you dump the clutch, ah oh, fuck. Uh, God knows why it's turning itself off. These bikes have been in the showroom since more than 3-4 months and we are basically the first people to get a test ride on them. Since the RTO <laughs> granted permission, the mirrors have very good visibility and there is this little power control button which cuts the power down when it's up and you press it and you get the full 135-140 horses. And this is the wet clutch model. I believe the, high, uh, the dry clutch model which is close to 160 bhp is available at around 17 lakhs which is too much and dry clutch is a problem if you ask me especially in Indian conditions it's very lightweight the seat height is really good feels premium and that's my friend Sukrit there owner of the Aprilia from my older videos hey hey give me a fist bump man what the fuck and that's Sundar right there the guy who manages everything at DSK Benelli Hyderabad one fucking long signal man the throttle response is a bit choppy and believe me this is a hardcore machine so don't even think about it if it's your first bike the clutch itself is very 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 light and explosive this, this thing is meant for wheelies it tells me man but as the radiators are onto the side, you should never even think about dropping this bike. It will cost you a bomb to fix it. It has adjustable front forks. The rear is Saks and the front are Marzocchi. And there is a lot of carbon fiber in the bodywork for both the bikes. Uh, just need to get on some open road to see how the power delivery is. It feels slower than the Speed Triple though. But I don't know. There was traffic there, I couldn't really rip it, so let me just... Ah! Open the signal already!
वॉट किसकी डीजल The sound is amazing once you get moving. Otherwise, it's a very mechanical kind of sound. The talk is very, very good. Brakes are amazing. There's no ABS, but still, you get Brembo brakes, which is very, very good. It's totally my kind of machine, man. It's meant for hard riding, cutting through corners. It feels fucking light. Let's just give it a bit of a throttle around here. Feels very very lightweight to maneuver though with all the you know this massive radiators and the headlights and all. This one cluster is too pretty good but the quality is a bit choppy. and you consider that you're spending close to 15 lakhs on this motorcycle it doesn't feel as deadly as the speed triple but the riding position is a lot more comfortable much more like my ER6N on the speed you sit kind of like this oh man i'm just looking for the downside in this bike It is fast. Lot more smoother than the speed. Let me tell you. I think maybe because the bike was in the showroom and unused since so many days. Gearbox is buttery smooth. the mid range and the low end damn you to take this bitch out for a comprehensive road test once it's done i i really am finding a hard time in finding a problem with this bike apart from the fact that it's a bit underpowered when you see 135 bhp but the way it puts it down is amazing cost again it's on the higher side but bloody enjoyable man yeah so the tires are michelin yeah so i guess that's that for the first impressions i couldn't really find any bad thing forums say that there are problems with the electronics of the bike but i'm not sure okay so time to hop on on to the 899 the affordable younger sister of the 1000 there is no benelli power switch mode on this all right oh feels exactly the same as that yeah exactly the clutch is even more lighter i want to oh the sound is horrible on this lot of mechanical halabaloo silky smooth engine once it gets moving god knows why it sounds so mechanical when it's idling brakes too are amazing same no electronic bullshit and there's no abs no esp no wheelie control no nothing these are proper stunt machines man and this handles pretty light Woo! you just keep screaming when you ride this bike because It feels almost like you're riding an overpowered KTM with all that power delivery. Woo! Handles like a dream, man. When you compare the speeds handling to this, it's 
speed almost feels like a fucking royal enfield so freaking light fuck i won't be popping any wheelies at this at this right bike but the gearbox of this is a little bit choppy not as smooth as the one on the 1000 both feel almost identical in power, in terms of power delivery throttle is also quite smooth a lot of people on the internet said that it's a bit choppy but it's pretty smooth this bike doesn't make you feel as if you're going that fast just now i just did around 110 120 but I didn't even feel like I was doing that speed, man. Fuck. It's fucking stable and planted as shit. They need an aftermarket exhaust. The thousand comes with a removable baffle kind of insert, so I am sure it will sound better off when you remove that. But still, fuck. I'm just thinking of a. Uh... This thing comes at around 11.5. which is a bit steeper than oh say hi to myself it's priced more than the Z800 and the considerably higher than the street triple i don't think it's worth that much but it is a very good bike slightly overpriced but the 1000 on the other hand is fuck it's a bomb it's a bomb so anyways that was that for my first impression of the Elda Benelli twins as i might like to call them that this here is the baffle i'm talking about there is a bolt here <sighs> the ugly grab rail looks ugly on that but on this it's pretty good looking so they are available in white and black bianco and nero as they like to call it and that thing is available in gold too and that's that there is no fuck i'm speechless I'm fucking speechless. This bike is absolute worth of money. It's it's more easier, not I won't say easier, it's more enjoyable in traffic than the Speed or the I'm pretty sure than the Z1000 too for a fact as it's lightweight. So, that's that. See you all. I'll be posting a full road review soon. Bye bye. Mama lal light aa rahi hai piche. So you wanna be a gangster? All that shit. Smoke any motherfucker, don't even trip. To be 